Hello and welcome to CAD Maniac. This is Jitavu. In this AutoCAD tutorial, we will learn a few very effective tips and tricks which will help us to work faster in AutoCAD. And the version I am using is AutoCAD 2020. And before starting the tutorial, I'll show you what are the offerings of this channel. So you can type CAD Maniac in the YouTube search bar. Then get inside the channel's homepage. In the video section, you will get a whole lot of tutorials on AutoCAD, both in 2D and 3D. You will get complete house modeling tutorial in one video. Then there are many 3D mechanical modeling tutorials. You will get tutorials on beam layout plan, column and footing foundation layout plan, circular floor plan, RCC column design, many floor plans, AutoCAD rendering tutorial as well, and many more. So do subscribe the channel and turn all the notifications on so that you get notified whenever I upload any video. In the playlist section, you will get everything in an organized manner. So you can simply click on the playlist you want to watch. So moving on, I'll show you some settings and some commands, which I use the most while drawing in AutoCAD. So the first and foremost one is right click customization. So first I'll show you how to turn it on. Then I'll tell what are its benefits. So type OP and press enter to open the options window. Come to user preference tab. Click on right click customization. Then you have to check this box if it is unchecked to turn the time sensitive right click and then simply apply and press on OK to close the options window. So what it does is it repeats the last command on your right click. You don't have to press enter or spacebar for that. So as soon as I right click the options window opens again. So it reduces a lot of time and effort. I'll show you with some more examples. For that I'll draw a circle of say 500 units radius. Now if I want to create a few more circles of same radius, then what I'll do is, I'll simply right click to repeat the last command, that is the circle command. Then I'll specify the center of the circle where I want. In this case, I'll just click randomly. You can see the last inputted radius is already loaded. So just right click to create the circle. So right click, left click, and then right click again to repeat the same circle. So just with three clicks, I can repeat the circle as many times I want. Now I'll show you the usefulness of the right click customization while drawing rectangles. So first I'll draw a rectangle of say 500 units length and 250 units width. Now to repeat rectangle command, just right click. Then just left click to specify the first corner of the rectangle. Then click on dimension in the command line. If you want the same length, just right click. Right click again for same width. And then just left click to place the rectangle. So just right click, left click, click on dimension, right click, again right click, then left click to repeat the rectangle. Then comes the zoom to fit command through double clicking the scroll button of the mouse. Now suppose you lost your drawing while zooming, which happens a lot to the new users. So to find your drawing, you just have to double click the scroll button of the mouse and it zooms all the drawings in the drawing window. So you can try this process whenever you are unable to find the drawing. Then I'll just erase these elements. Next is quick select option. So suppose I have this plan and I want to select all the columns available in this plan at once for maybe copying it to some other place or maybe for some other purpose. So if I select the column like this, it will take a whole lot of time. So instead of selecting the columns like this, I'll use quick select command. So just type QSE and press enter to open the quick select window. Then you can select objects by using any of these properties you want. But in this case, I'll select it by layer. Operator will be equals to. So layer equals to. Then select the layer you want from this plan. I'll set it to column. Then press OK. And you can see all the columns from this drawing have been selected at once. So now I can copy it. I can hide all of these at once. I can erase this if I want. So this is how effectively I can select a set of object from the same family and then use it as per the drawing requirements. Now next is oops command. I have this container for example. 
offices are designed inside the containers at many sites. I have made the front face transparent so that you can see what's inside the container. Now suppose I have erased this window by mistake and after that I have given plenty of commands. May it be circle, may it be rectangle, may it be polyline or may it be any other command. Let's suppose I have given 100 commands after erasing the window and then I realize that I erased the window. So what can I do now to destroy it back? Press undo command for 100 times? Definitely no. The command I'll use in this case is oops command to recover the last deleted object. So if you have deleted something else as well after deleting the window, then that will be recovered not the window. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Then is the boundary command which I use quite effectively in 2D as well as in 3D models. I have the suspension type insulator for example. I'll get into top view first. I want to create this part into a polyline or maybe into a region. So if I use erase and trim option, it will take a lot of time. So what I'll do is, I'll hide the hatch first. Then click on boundary option or type BO and press enter. Click on pick point, then click inside this boundary. As you can see, the outer boundary has been highlighted. Then just press enter. Don't worry about this alert if it comes. You can click on yes to create a region which will serve our purpose. So this is what I wanted. So I'll move it to the side. 3D rotate it. And then revolve it to create this part. So boundary command helps us to create a polyline or a region of any cross section or any other boundary. So I use this command effectively enough to draw quickly in AutoCAD. You can do the same as well. Then is the match properties option. Suppose I want to match the property of the suspension type insulator to this one. So just type MA and press enter. Select this one as the source object. Then select this object as the destination object to match properties. So as you can see both the properties are same now. This can be used in 2D drawings as well. So these are some of the tips and tricks in AutoCAD which I wanted to share with all. So please hit the like button if you like it and share the video so it reaches more and more people. So that's it for this video guys. Bye bye.